Hello learners. In this lecture, we will see what is bulking of sand. So in the previous lecture, we had seen that if you're going for a volumetric batching, then there is a problem of bulking of sand. So what exactly is this bulking phenomena? We'll try to see it. So the increase in the volume of a sand <clears throat> due to increase in the moisture content is called as a bulking of a sand. So a film of a water is created around the sand particle, which forces the particles to get side from each other and thus the volume is going to increase. So what exactly is trying to tell? Yeah. So let us say this is my sand particles initially. Okay. So these are my sand particles initially. So this is, this is called as this is my sand particles initially. So when water, that is water in the sense, when moisture tries to accumulate over this, what is going to happen? It's going to apply a force on this. So it's going to apply a force. That means force in a sense, the water will try to go in between these two particles. As a result of that, what is going to happen? This is my first particle. Okay, this is my second particle. Hmm. And in between this, what will happen? The water will go. I'll put water in a different color. So this is the water. So as a result of that, what has happened now? This much amount has increased. The volume has increased. And what is the definition of bulking of sand? The increase in the volume of sand due to increase in the moisture. Before the addition of a moisture, there was a small void in between them. So now what has happened inside the void, the water has come as a result of that, this volume got increased and it will try to put a force on that as a result of that, what will happen? The volume is going to increase, right? Yeah. The increase in moisture in sand increases the volume of a sand. The volume increases in the dry sand is known as bulking of sand. The bulking of sand depends on the quantity of moisture, which is present in the sand and also on the size of the particles. Yeah. So this is how it looks. See, this is my saturated or actual volume of a sand. And when there is a moisture content in the sand, then what is going to happen? You can see the volume has increased, right? You can understand even from here. This is called as bulk sand. Uh, like let us say this is my saturated sand, right? Saturated sand in a sense, it doesn't have any moisture content. It is in a dry condition. So this is my bulk sand. Since the volume has increased, I mean, since the yeah, volume of a sand has increased, you can see initially it was here. But due to the addition of the water, the volume has gone to this level. So this is called as bulking of sand. This is called as bulk sand. So what exactly is trying to happen? We'll try to see that. So let us say initially, this is a graph what I'm trying to plot, right? This is my moisture content on X axis. And this is my volume of a sand on a Y axis. Let us say initially I've taken a sand. I, I'm going to draw put here. Okay. This, let us say this is a sand what I've taken. So it is in a very dry condition. Let us consider the volume of a sand is this and there is zero moisture content. If I'm drawing it here on this line, that means the moisture content is zero moisture sand from here. Let us say this is one, this is zero, one, two and three. As of now, it's a very straight line, right? So this is a volume on the Y axis. Let me do in this way volume. So as of now, let us say there is some X volume. Okay. And the moisture content is zero. That is, it's a dry condition. Now, what happens when the water, when you try to apply water in the sand as a result of that, what is going to happen? Bulking of a sand will happen. So as a result of that, what should happen? There should be the volume in the, there should be volume increase in the sand, right? So this is that point where we are actually, it is a dry condition. Now, when you take a wet sand, right? So due to the addition of the moisture, it will become a wet sand. So as a result of that, what will happen? You can see there is an increase in the volume, isn't it? As the moisture content is increasing along the x-axis, you can see this graph is a bit going top. It's going to the top, top, top. Maximum, it is going to reach at one point. And after that, what is happening? You know, again, that volume is going to come down, right? Why is this coming down? We'll try to see that. But now our point of discussion will be, let me delete everything. Our point of discussion is that it is going increase there is an increase in the volume of a sand increase 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 and this particular point is called as the maximum bulking what i get what i'm going to get so we need to understand one point this maximum bulking how much it goes we need to understand so it has been found that the volume of a sand is going to increase by around 20 to 30 percent the volume of a sand is going to increase by 20 to 30 percent when the moisture content is somewhere close to four to five percent Right. Let us say this is a 5% moisture content. Okay. I'm taking some random value. Let us say this is 5%. So when there is a 5% of moisture content in your sand, the volume of your sand, let us say this is the volume. The volume is going to increase by 20 to 30%. Right. So this is all about the bulking of sand. Next, what happens after that? Right. Next, what is going to happen? Let me delete everything. So after that, you can see the trend of the graph. 
this is a maximum what has reached after that what is going to happen slowly again the graph is going to come down and at one stage this volume and the volume which we had initially that is a dry condition it is it's going to be same right initially it was in a dry condition here so volume increase 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 and after that again there is a decrease 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 and finally a level will be reached where the fully saturated volume of a sand will become equal to the volume of a sand in a dry condition so now the next question that comes in our mind why is that the volume is reaching to the maximum and after that the volume is going to come down so what is the reason behind that we'll try to see the reason so for that we need to get into the particles of the sand you can see this is a particle of a sand what i have drawn here okay these are the sand particles so in between the sand particle can you see there is a void right the small small gap so when you try to add moisture or when you try to add water into this what is going to happen this water will try to go inside the voids what we have so this water will try to go inside the voids wherever we have voids no the water will go as you keep on increasing the water what is going to happen i'll take two particles out of here okay i'm going to take this and this particles out of here these are the two particles so again there is a water here right in between the two particles so this water is going to put a force on this which is called as surface tension that means this water will try to separate this i mean it will try to put a force on this and it will try to push the two particles that means it is going to put a force something like this okay so this is a force what is being put by the water so this force what is being put by the water is called as surface tension i'll write it here surface since it is happening on the surface and this is a tension no tension is pulling st is called as surface tension so as a result of that a surface tension is created so due to the surface tension since two particles are being pulled since they are in tension surface tension what has happened initially this was my volume only up to this much particles this was a length let us say now due to the surface tension this volume has increased no from here to here so that is why the graph you can see no here as you keep on increasing moisture content see this is increasing the moisture content as the water keeps on increasing 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 what is happening volume is also increasing the same phenomenon is happening here volume is increasing because of the surface tension then what is going to happen suddenly at one stage what is going to happen it is able to create a surface tension up to a certain point and then when you try to add water again no again let me do in this way again when you try to add water again when again when you try to add water due to the own weight of the water see again if you try to add water what will happen it will create a weight on this layer right there is a layer created no a gap is created this is a layer of a water again when the water keeps on adding due to the weight of the water itself the link what has been created here no a kind of a bridge what has been created that get broken down the bridge will get break so once this layer gets break what is going to happen the two particles which were separated from each other due to the breakage of this particular layer that surface uh, tension layer got broke so now what will happen what will happen the two particles which were uh, at a distance again they will try to come closer right if they try to come closer what is going to happen volume obviously is going to come down and the same trend can you see in the graph so this is that point after this due to increase in the water that layer has been broken and that is the reason a graph you can see again the volume is coming down coming down coming down coming down so after that this particular volume and the volume which was there initially that is in a dry state they will become equal so this entire phenomenon is called as bulking of sand right i hope it's understood now to put it in a point wise what i have explained yeah so what will happen due to the bulking the volume of a sand increases by around 22 per 30% and this increase of 20 to 30% will happen when the moisture content is in between 4 to 5%. After that the volume of a moist sand becomes equal to the volume of dry sand which we already seen. After certain increase in the volume right on further addition and further addition of water what will happen the surface tension the surface layer i mean yeah the layer which was created no that will get break due to that is more load the surface tension breaks and the particles of the sand come closer co closer to each other so this is all about the bulking of sand and its phenomena so why it is important now so actually what happens when we do the mixed design in the lab we can we consider our sand to be good and we don't apply we consider everything to be good and we do the mixed design but actually what is happening at the site in the mixed design we are taking one density we are taking a density of uh, uh, let me do it in this way 
let us say in the mixed design in the lab we are considering the density of a sand is something let us say 1800 kg per cubic meter this is my density but in the site what will happen since you, since you have stored your sand and all what has happened let us say there is a moisture content in the sand the density will increase let us say from 1800 kg per cubic meter let us say the density has gone to 200 2000 kg per meter so you have done a design by considering this density but practically at the site on that day the density of a sand is 2000 kg per cubic meter now what will happen your entire mixed design will go wrong right you are doing one thing you are you are expecting one thing in the lab and you are doing something else on the side so in order to counteract or in order to take care of this phenomena we have to apply the corrections that we do in the way batching in volumetric batching this was a problem we don't apply any corrections and all right even though there is a bulking of sand and all we don't consider and we do the concreting we we we, we do the we prepare the concrete but space but when we do the way batching and all we try to check all these things and how it has to be checked i'll show you through one of the practical uh, sheet from the mixed design okay i hope this basic understanding is clear now i'll take you to that sheet so this is a one of the cube uh, this is one of the mixed design what they have created hmm? so we'll go back to the top yeah so what can it's written here grade of a concrete what is the grade of a concrete you are preparing okay what is the minimum cement you have added what is the water cement ratio you have taken 0.6 uh, right what should be the workability that you require it's written 100 you require plus or minus 200 mm plus or minus 20 mm is okay hmm? then mode of pouring how it is to be poured whether with the help of a chute you are pouring or with the help of a pump you are pouring what kind of aggregate you are using type of admixture used what is the name of admixture right what is the name what is the brand of the cement everything will be written here hmm? so based on this what they have done they are, they are doing a mixed design based on this they are doing a mixed design we will try to see this in chapter 3 of 4 how to do all these calculations and finally once we do the mixed design you can see here no let me go back you see here the specific gravity of fine aggregate will be considered everything will be done the volume of a fine aggregate everything will be done in the lab and finally you can come to a conclusion for this particular grade of m25 i have to put cement 308 307 kg per cubic meter water of 184.5949 kg per cubic meter fine aggregate of 877 kg per cubic meter 20 mm aggregate this much 10 mm aggregate this much chemical admixture has to be this much water cement ratio i have to maintain in this way so this is what i have prepared in the lab okay and now practically when you do this practically also we have to get the same strength that means in the batching plant also we have to do the same proportion right so there what happens you need to check the sand and all now here you can see the moisture content they are going to check all these things water absorption how much percentage has happened in the crushed sand right so how much moisture content is there what is surface uh, density what it is there how much correction has been done adjusted in kgs all this we do the adjustment in the uh, batching plant and only then we prepare the concrete why this adjustments and all are done so that our answer or whatever concrete we are getting here that concrete has to match with the mixed design what we have prepared in the lab so that is why these things we usually do in the batching plant but these things we never do in the volume batching right and after that you do the testing and all this is how it has to be done we have understood the cube testing and all 7 days 28 days when it was casted what is the strength of that and all the main important is that we want to see these are the corrections what they applied correction and how much it is adjusted in kgs right if this much uh, correction has to be done then how much extra sand you have to how much extra cement you have to apply how much extra aggregate has to be put all those things we are going to do it here right and coming to the admixture also we have understood what is admixture you can see 1.5% is what they have written it here this things uh, we had seen theoretically and practically in the uh, what is this a sheet we a cube batching sheet practically from the batching plant we are seeing everything right yeah and how much volume of concrete is prepared that is also written 0.07 cubic meter of the concrete is being prepared what is the water cement ratio fix it is 0.6 right so in this way all things are mentioned what what is the slum that you require everything is mentioned here yeah so i hope uh, the basic understanding of bulking of sand is clear and also we have tried to see how the corrections are practically put up uh, in the batching plant uh, if there is a moisture content in the sand so we'll see you back in the next lecture